Actually, it's very resilient if you look at the UK market right now, and I don't see any problems. I only say that polit from a political perspective, we don't get stability because every other day we have a different news coming out, and these are internal UK problems. But when I look at the home builders market, when I look at the renovation rates, so I think there's a good trend out there, and I'm pretty confident for this year. I agree, and I heard the Mayor of London, the great Sadiq Khan, I don't know if he's great or not, but maybe in his head, but anyway, Sadiq Khan talking about how he was driving uh, brownside house builds in London as well. Everywhere I look locally in East Sussex, I see houses being built. I see for once uh, the builders actually getting near the government targets, and government targets are just there to laugh at normally. So I see nothing but abundant activity as well. If Brexit is solved, quickly uh, and no deal looks like it's getting further and further off the table are we going to see even more activity could could the uk rather than being a source of concern actually be something that acts as a prop uh, to a europe which is slowing down hano listen i think now it's about two years or so that we talk about this event and Feels longer. <laughs> indeed it does and it's the only event that we talk about yeah actually the underlying trends in the construction business are good and there, I think there's a, some resilience in the market and there's demand out there and that's what is needed for us and I do think if this whole thing clears out we will see a much better trend in the next years to what come. What about Europe? We had um, a 0.0% figure coming out of uh, Europe's largest economy in terms of GDP in the last few days or so. I, I'm particularly worried about um, the European economies at the moment. Are you seeing, and I, I know there, there's, there's some big growth markets, but, but are you worried about European building volumes? I'm not worried about them. I think if you look at it, the Eastern European uh, part is doing very well and I think we have some good years ahead of us. Yeah? If we look at Western Europe, the Benelux is doing very well and actually when the whole thing with the Brexit will resolve, then this will sort of be on a good trend as well. Just a quick one before Francesco comes in as well. Um, look, y your guidance looks great today. You know, the figures are looking really solid as well. Why have I got that chart on my screen that shows you've done literally well, as it's moved now, but um, uh, the, the, the Wienerberg share price is really not being motivated by the story you're telling. Well, I think the market needs some time to digest all this news. And I think especially when you talk about London and investors of, in London, they are very, very much Brexit oriented and don't look through the, the thing and, and see the underlying trends. Uh, you know, my question here is really what type of scenario would be looking with regard to your UK operations to increase your spending, your investments in the UK? What would be the optimal scenario? Because I really hear a lot of noise, companies wanting to come in. There was this news about the sovereign funds in Norway potentially investing in the UK. You know, some other companies are going out. So we are getting very confused. So what is your, you know, you as a CEO that, you know, it's got capital, you can allocate it on a global basis. You say, okay, this would be the optimal scenario for me. The optimal scenario is that I have clarity what's going to happen with the UK. Yeah, and the optimal would be, okay, politically we step out of the EU, but we remain within the common market and all the rules and regulations stay the same. I need stability to invest. My investment cycles are around 30 to 40 years, so I need a clear a sort of vision from the UK government. That's what I need. I don't need every other day a different story coming out. And do you think that you're going to get that in the next, you know, two years? Or do you think that, you know, in three months' time you're still going to talk about, or is it going to be what type of trade that we're going to see? Do you really think that you're going to get that? The, uh, the only thing that I can send is a strong signal to political decision maker in this country to say we will stop this instability and make a clear announcement where we want to go. And I think, by the way, if I am allowed to say that as an Austrian, I think the UK people want it as well. Because I think it's about the future of this country and not about the political situation that they do on a day-to-day -day basis. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.